So next one is uh, real lock. Okay. So in case of uh, real lock, we are going to reallocate the memory if the currently allocated memory is uh, insufficient. Okay. So the original memory allocation can be done using uh, malloc or calloc. You will start allocating memory. Later, you want to expand memory. Okay. So you can start using realloc. Okay. Using realloc, you can reallocate memory. So general syntax for this uh, realloc will be You can write like this new PTR is equal to data type star real lock data type star real lock of old PTR comma new size old PTR comma new size. Okay. So this is uh, real lock corresponding syntax. So what is meant by old PTR here? Okay. So here I can write uh, where old PTR is actually representing the pointer that is pointing to the block of memory which is already allocated using either malloc or calloc. As I told, uh, originally you will be allocating some memory using uh, malloc or calloc, right? And this old pointer is actually representing the pointer pointing to the old memory. To memory. And this memory is uh, allocated using uh, malloc or calloc. Okay. So that is representing this uh, old memory. Now, what is new size? So new size will be representing uh, updated size that you want to allocate using real lock. So I can write here as uh, size of the new block. Okay. Or size of the block to be reallocated. clear so again here also once you reallocate memory new pointer will be now pointing to that newly allocated memory using uh, real lock so let me show you an example here okay so consider uh, an example using real lock first i am considering a pointer int is a pointer here int star p now I'm allocating uh, memory using malloc for this integer pointer. So this is a uh, int star malloc of. We can write. Uh, okay, for example, I want to allocate ten memory locations. So ten into size of int. Ten into size of int. Okay. So it will allocate. Uh, 10 locations and each is of uh, size of integer. Now we can allocate using uh, realloc. So if already allocated memory is uh, not sufficient, okay, so you can allocate using realloc. Let us suppose I want uh, 20 locations, okay, new size is 20, for example. So in that case, I can write int star realloc of. So what is the old pointer? Here I am using the old pointer and new pointer both as same, P only. So old pointer comma new size. Right now I am allocating new size as 20. Earlier 10 locations or 10 blocks are allocated. Now it is 20 blocks we are reallocating. So the old pointer and new pointer both are same. Okay, which means the new pointer will be, okay, the same pointer P will be pointing to the newly allocated memory. Okay, so previously here you can see there are 10 blocks of memory 10 into 4 is equal to 40 bytes of memory is allocated 
but using this uh, this is going to be 20 right 20 into 4 which will be 80 bytes of memory will be allocated so for both of this we are using a same pointer to point so p will be now pointing to the updated memory which is 80 bytes of memory okay so now let us uh, consider an example here uh, for uh, real lock okay so first i will uh, basically consider uh, allocating for character pointer let me implement uh, directly okay so i'm using a character pointer here i'm using a character pointer so where i can write it as a car star name for example okay car star name so this is my character pointer using which i am allocating memory so that is uh, name is equal to okay so char star malloc of okay so here let us suppose i am allocating uh, 10 contiguous locations uh, and each is of character data type so which means uh, size of char is 1 byte 10 into 1 is 10 bytes of memory i am allocating using malloc okay so now i want to copy some content into this uh, you can make use of uh, str cpy for copying but for that purpose you have to include uh, another header file which is a string.h header file string.h header file okay so once i have included now we are free to use this uh, str cpy okay so i am writing uh, or placing a string called hyderabad okay so after copying this now we are trying to print name which is uh, located at that particular address okay let us suppose uh, i will try to print the name which i am storing which is hyderabad and that is stored is at address okay so the address is a uh, percentage p okay so we can write it as name comma name so you can observe uh, first time name will be printed in the exact string format okay but second time you can see the same name but percentage p is used which means the address will be displayed okay now this is using uh, malloc we have allocated let us suppose i want to store a bigger string okay so in that case uh, this is not sufficient right so i'll make use of real lock let us suppose uh, char star okay so i use uh, real lock and allocate here let us suppose uh, some 15 characters okay i am trying to store so this is a uh, size of character type okay so here also semicolon here also semicolon okay now i am trying to copy another string okay let us suppose uh, name comma so we just need to take uh, a bigger string okay so i'll take uh, a string like uh, minneapolis okay so the number of characters uh, are greater than number of characters in hyderabad okay so now let us uh, print similarly here also right now the name corresponding uh, address also i am trying to display along with the name okay 
So once your usage is completed, you can just uh, deallocate whatever memory that is allocated here. So free of name, using which you can deallocate memory which is allocated here. So let us run this code and see the result. Okay. So I'll I'll try to use here. Okay. So already we are printing in a different line only okay so i'll i'll write here slash n and here also slash n now you can see name is hyderabad is at address okay you can observe uh, the corresponding address allocated for this and now name is minneapolis and it is now at address, this particular address, okay.